Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create this wave uh, liquid effect inside of a glass. So we're gonna jump right into After Effects here because this is really easy. Uh, I've got this uh, design here, this, this wine glass with this little shape in it, that's the, uh, the content on which I want my liquid to be in. And I have this, just this glass, this background, the floor reflect reflection and this shine layer. And what we're going to do is create this liquid and it's going to fit inside this dark blue shape. So for that I'm going to create a, a rectangle and let's just make it like this. This is big enough, like that. And I'm going to uh, position it first. So I'm going to go over here and press P to open my position parameters. And I'm going to turn it down here and then give it some easing here. I'm using Flow, the plugin. So that will just move in here uh, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to add the wave warp effect to it. Wave warp in my effects and presets folder, place it on there and there we see the wave effect. And I'm gonna uh, uh, play with these parameters and the first I'm going to change the width to like 220. So it's a really long kind of a wave. And I'm going to go and I'm going to animate the, the height and I'm going to start at zero. So zero right there, um, put a keyframe and then over here I'm going to go to, let's say 30, I think it was, yeah, 30, that's okay. And I'm going to press U and also give that the same um, easing. So it kind of starts from nothing and then it goes up till its peak and I think the speed is a bit too much yeah let's put that at 0 0.7 I think that should do it uh, let's see yeah that's great and then all the way over here I'm gonna put the wave height back to zero so it stops uh, waving I'm going to press uh, command on my keyboard and then click on this little um, a keyframe here to, to delete the easing and then just give this some normal easy ease. So now it just pops up waving and then it stops slowly. Let's see how that looks in real time. Yeah, that's great. Okay, maybe make it a bit longer even. Um, make sure your direction is turned to uh, 90 degrees so it moves nice uh, nicely sideways. And um, I'm gonna put my shine above it by the way so like that and i've got this contents mat this mat i'm going to place it above my let's call this uh, wave uh, i'm going to place it above that as well and i'm going to go to wave and then here on the track mat options i'm going to select alpha mat contents mat so that means that this wave uh, layer will only be visible within this contents mat layer so it's kind of as a, as a mask so like that so now you already have this wave effect this liquid effect going in. Nice. Um, right, I'm gonna um, select both of these and I'm gonna press Command D on my keyboard to make a duplication of both of them. And for this new one, just let's just color code them. Oh, no, not lavender. Let's make them red and uh, pink. And for this new one, I'm going to um, change the color to make it a bit lighter like that I'm going to change the direction to from plus 90 to minus 90 so it goes in the opposite direction I'm going to place these two below my original wave like that so now we have this wave in the opposite direction to give it a more uh, 3d depth look to make it a bit more interesting so there you go there we have this um, this wave maybe if I look at it now you know you can Let's just change the speed of that. I think I do like it to be a bit faster. And make sure um, the wave warp effect is pretty uh, processor heavy. So it might take a few seconds, as you can see here, to load your animation. But here you go. There is your wave warp. Uh, cool little liquid effect. And be sure, because now it's a bit uh, a bit grainy, not so sharp, so uh, when you're done animating this whole thing, uh, when you're using WaveWap, when you're done with it, then uh, when you're ready to render, 
place this on high, let's put this on high, so it looks nice and crisp. But when you're doing it while you're animating, it kind of gets even more slow because it needs to um, make a lot of calculations. So just be sure to do that when you're done animating everything. Um, yeah, so that's it uh, for today. That's an easy, quick little look on how to create this liquid effect. Uh, I hope you learned something again today and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe. Thanks, bye-bye.